ambulance that's responding. It says second patient is having a seizure. We know that APD is there. There's also another medic unit on scene that's requesting us, so potentially a critical patient. Take a left out of here. What the heck? Oh my goodness, crawled out. Hello. What do we have? We've got her boyfriend in the back of the ambulance, okay. uh, so that's why we didn't take her. She was talking to the police, started having a seizure. We found out afterwards okay. that apparently all the blood's from her boyfriend. Okay. It looks like he got beat up. No. Okay. Does she have a history of seizures? So, no. Oh, yes. Have you been so taking your medications like you should? Uh, no. So, Kim, she's going to be mine because her heart rate's almost 150. The first thing I notice is how elevated her heart rate is. It's almost 150, which is super, super fast. I'm just going to make sure none of this blood's yours, OK? What happened to your boyfriend? Do you know? She's altered. Uh, we call it post uh, which is like the altered period after a seizure. I'm going to start an IV in case we have another seizure, OK? I'm going to ask you some simple questions, OK? You know what city you're in? Good. What year is it? Um, Good. Let me see your arm real quick, Jasmine. How many dimes are in one dollar? Ten. Okay. We're gonna get you on a little bit of oxygen to see if that helps with some of the fuzziness, okay? Sure. Yeah. I'm sorry you had a seizure okay. tonight too, on top of everything else. All right, big poke, okay? One, two, three. So we're just gonna take you on down to the hospital, okay? We're just gonna get checked out. Um, I think we should go to the hospital because our heart rate's still pretty elevated. It's like almost 150, which is not normal even after a seizure. I don't want to go. I think we should go to the hospital because our heart rate's still pretty elevated. Why do you not want to go? Because I can call a ride. I'll be fine. My patient just had a seizure. The first thing I notice is how elevated her heart rate is. It's almost 150, which is super, super fast. She also wasn't on her seizure medications. She also had a lot of stress tonight. There are so many things that could have caused her seizure and caused her to have another seizure later on. I've done this for a little while, and I know when patients are about to have another seizure a lot of times, that's what I think is going to happen if we don't go. Right. OK. But my family's pretty aware of it, and that's where I'm going, so I'll be fine. I don't want to go. When's the last time you had a seizure before today? Well, I had them frequently after I had the baby. OK. And I had uh, told my doctor. A few more stickers, OK? This is our heart's going so fast. Maybe we could at least get this picture of your heart, make sure nothing crazy is going on, OK? okay. A lot of times, patients that have a seizure history don't want to go because they have breakthrough seizures relatively frequently. And that's kind of something that they just live with every day. Do you know the risk involved that you, if you don't go to the hospital, can you tell me that you understand those risks? Oh, of course. What could happen if we don't go? Um, I could have another one, and then I could injure myself really bad. Mm -hmm. Or you could not be breathing very well and get some kind of brain injury. Mm -hmm. that could lead to permanent disability, right? Or death, right? Or a coma. Or a coma, right? Mm -hmm. I have to ask, is there a reason that you don't want to go? I just don't want to be in the hospital. We really want her to go. We want to take her. We want to be able to monitor her, but we can't kidnap her and take her to the hospital. If you do have another seizure, you need to go for sure, OK? OK. Really did not like her heart rate. Alcohol lowers your seizure threshold. Stress lowers your seizure threshold. And you have not taking your, your medications yeah. lowers your seizure threshold. I should have made her do like a pinky promise. You should have. Pinky promise. If you have a seizure and we see you against that, you're going to the hospital. You're going. Uh oh, right. I'll drive. You ride. All right. Let's go try to get some ice cream before everything closes. <laughs> 